Alright, it looks like everybody is accounted for, and this time I am not creating fish popsicles out of uh, all of our poor fish fish. Oh look, and you can actually see them getting fed by one of our workers over here. That is so cool. But alright guys, hello and welcome back to our adventures in Mega Aquarium, where we are currently watching over all of the fish at a brand new aquarium we have been put into. Uh, oh, that's right, where we're actually going to have our very first corals that we're going to be working with in just a minute here, which I'm very excited about. But a extremely wealthy entrepreneur has privately funded this collection to try to make sure that we can show off some lovely corals and some lovely fish eels, hermit crabs. We had a little bit of an error last time, as you guys know, uh, where I almost froze the fish to death because I couldn't quite figure out how to make the heaters work. But thankfully we expanded the room, staff should be able to access them in case there are any more errors, uh, pretty much ASAP. And now we can go ahead and we can get ourselves to be, uh, oh wait, I actually, I actually have this guy. I think I told him not to do anything other than like fixing things, but Carter can actually help out with everything now so that we're not making poor Caitlin just do all of the work anymore. Oh, that reminds me, I need to pull up some of our Patreon name lists and I need to pull up some of your guys' comments from our previous videos so that I can name some of these fish fish. But for today, I think we're gonna go ahead and focus on just the corals so that I can figure out how to add corals to this lovely aquarium. Uh, also, I wanna add more plants over here, but if corals, can go safely with some of these fish, which I'm not sure if they can. I kind of want to add corals into our big fancy tank too. All right, so we have unlocked the disco mushrooms, which are not mushrooms, they're actually corals. And let's find where they're hiding. Down here! Okay, so these guys give us quite a bit of prestige, science, they need to be in a tropical temperature. They require water quality of at least 70. They are a soft coral. Avoid placing with tank mates, which are a danger to soft corals. Noted, noted. They grow over time and they need lights. Requires a tank with five or more light power. And they eat zooplankton's. <gasps> okay, so those are a few new things that I don't currently have. So let's see if I've got Here's a basic light. So the basic light, do I just, what? That's so cool. All right, so that's the way the basic lights work. Uh, and now I need to make sure that this thing, oh, here's the zooplankton dispenser. So let's put the zooplankton dispenser maybe like right up against it. Oh, hey, we have the lionfish. Valentine's lionfish, the Elvis <laughs> of the fish world. Valentines frequently die from overeating. They're never full and their greed is such that they can choke on prey that are too large to be swallowed. What the heck? Okay, so a lot of prestige science. They get to really big. They need a size of six to 11 uh, room. They need tropical, at least 65% water quality. They eat mussels. They like a cave. They're extremely greedy. Eats 33% more food and creates 33% more waste for its size. They're also armored. So it has an effective size of 12 when calculating whether or not a predator can eat it. And they may eat or damage animals or crustaceans with a size of one to two. Hmm. So they will actually eat each other. I need to be very careful about that then. All right, how about we try the cowfish next? Cause I do like cowfish. Uh, the oblique line dotty back is a bully who dislikes being with other dotty backs. Uh, maybe I'll research that guy too, but the cowfish has so many ecology points. I, at my heart, want all of those leafy greens. So we're gonna add those in first. All right, so next we need a protein skimmer, which I think is gonna take care of our corals. And we almost have enough science for that. So I'm gonna be patient, patient on the science there. And while we wait, can I put in a kelp? Oh, I can put in some kelp. Oh heck, I am adding in some kelp to decorate this place. Are you kidding me? Are you kelping me? Of course I am. All right, and then let's see. Can I put some of the decorations like out and about? I can! I can sprinkle seashells on the seashore. I'm totally doing that. Also, we have unlocked the protein skimmer. The protein skimmer provides additional filtering power and is useful for maintaining higher body water quality on small tanks. Excellent. Okay, so that's actually gonna help us out 
Uh, and it does break down, so we gotta be careful. Let's go ahead and get a large heater. We have unlocked the protein skimmer. Filtering alone isn't enough to reach the high water qualities required by corals and delicate fish. You need protein skimming too. Add one to your disco mushroom tank and see the difference in water quality compared to filtering alone. On it! Okay. Uh, also, I will totally sprinkle some seashells on the seashore in just a second here. Uh, but let's come over, do a protein- Oh! Okay, so you need to do- Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Holy cow. Holy moly. All right. Um, actually, let me try adding like more another room over here, maybe, because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of stuff I need to add to this coral tank. Oh boy, this is giving me like really intense flashbacks to when I used to work in a pet store and would try to float and help out the people in huh, float. Huh, that's a nursing term from when I was in nursing school. <laughs> You float to different floors, which means like you rotate to different floors to learn things. Uh, but back when I worked in the pet store, I would help out the fish people sometimes. And I learned that fish are complicated. You are diving into a mixture of chemistry and biology that is just going to leave your jaw on the ground. You don't really even know what you're getting into until it's too late. Fish are complex. You gotta be ready. Um, and this is just bringing that all back, especially once you start introducing corals. So there we have the protein skimmer, we have the heater, we have the filter, we have got the light. Let there be light. I think that we are now ready to go ahead and add in some of these disco mushrooms. They eat zooplankton, 70% water quality. Here we go! Congratulations on obtaining your first coral. The collector is currently compiling a wish list of what they want for the aquarium. In the meantime, you should continue to unlock new animals and equipments to try to progress to rank 5. As you expand your aquariums, it becomes easy for some tanks to get missed by your guest. You can get feedback on this by the view rate overlay. Okay, so then as our guests walk around, they'll be able to tell us like, Hey, I totally didn't even notice you had this thing. Alright. I hope I can get several corals in here without too much trouble. And then maybe like put some eelgrass or something at the back. Sea grapes! Oh, they're too big. Uh, like, okay, we could do eelgrass or we could do, okay, not kelp because you have to do deep tanks, which we're about to start working on. Let's put in, you know, a little bit of greenery here and there. <gasps> maybe a decorative piece. Heck yeah. Oh, we could do tiny little small rocks. I love that. I'm gonna do some small rocks up front. Uh, and then let's actually do tropical beach paint in here. And finally, let's add a fish. Like what is something? Oh, maybe the lionfish. Can we put the big old lionfish in there? He'd bring a ton of science in. I think he would. And then our hermit crab would only ever get up to size two. So he would end up down the lionfish's throat if we are not careful. The flame angelfish dislikes being with other angelfish. Uh, and this guy... So if I want to add in like flame angelfish and other things, then I'm probably going to need to wait. What does he eat? He, he noms other fish, right? Yeah. He will eat any... When fully grown, he'll eat any animals who are size 1 to 4. So I would have to go with a butterfly fish if I wanted to be able... Do not, they will eat clams, stony corals. Well, you, I don't have stony coral, I just have soft coral. What about the rabbit faced fish? I don't have this guy yet. And he gets up to size seven. I think when he's tiny, we'll have to make sure. So I'm gonna put just one rabbit faced fish in here. All right, hello, little guy. Are you already size seven? I think he's already size seven. So I think that means we should be able to safely add in a lionfish. Oh, that's so cool! Without them getting eaten? Oh, fine! I love that! I think the lionfish- yeah, he wants somewhere to hide though. Alright, let me go ahead and get a little- okay, not the rocky overhang. Driftwood cave? There we go. Boom. Alright, ooh, sorry about that. Yay! All right, hopefully they won't eat each other and we'll be able to celebrate this awesomeness. Uh, also, this thing needs cleaned a little better. So let's try putting down another pump. 
I wonder if I should do... <gasps> Yay, we have the cowfish now! Uh, he's a wimp and can't be housed with a bully. And he will need to grow. Yeah, he'll, he'll grow. Oh, and he's armored. So, oh, he wouldn't get eaten by a predator. But he will eat starfish. Am I going to figure out how to get starfish? <gasps> that would be so cool. Let's get this panther grouper. All right, how much room is in here? There's enough room in here for more fish. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add our cowfish in here. Holy cow. No pun in holy cow fish. Eh, eh. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, that was just too perfect. Uh, but I think that our little cowfish... Oh, and somebody needs to eat cockles. What the heck is a cockle? I think it's kind of like a, a mussel um, shell. Like, like they're kind of like mussels, but they're not. There we go. Cockles. A small mollusk. There we go. That is usually found buried in sand or fine gravel. This dispenser has a limited capacity, but it is refilled at the beginning of each day. Woo! Okay, we're gonna need to be careful there then. Let's go ahead and add this then. Can they reach both of those? I love how the dispensers are so cute. I think they can reach both of those. Dude, Carter! You should be doing like everything now. Rolls. I mean, you should be doing everything, sir. He doesn't have a zone assigned. I think we need to hire another person who can actually like help out with with feeding. I'm a little concerned about this. Okay, manage. Like, look, Carter, you should be doing all of these other things. Don't just fix things. <laughs> Come on. Okay, talents. You should be you should be doing He's allowed to do everything. Currently allowed to complete tasks which require skills. Uh, okay, we're gonna hire somebody new because I cannot let my poor Caitlyn just have to do all of this on her own. Yay! Okay, we un oh deep tank wall. Let's go for this. We're gonna learn how to do deep tanks. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, Rachel has good potential and already knows the basics of feeding. You're hired. You'll have a new name based on one of our patrons, hopefully in the near future. Oh well, Carter does need to fix a bunch of things. So you know what? I'm just I'm not gonna question it right now. <laughs> I just don't have it in me. All right, let's also remove this filter and replace it with a larger filter. Where's that filter going to? Yeah, that, this filter is going to this spot. So we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade our filters. Everybody's going to panic for just a second. Oh, wait, I didn't have a more powerful filter. Curses. Okay, that backfired on me. Because, wait, go here. Come on, wait. Where is this going? I don't know where this is one is actually connected now. Okay, yeah, that's actually connected there. Okay. Uh, I actually need to research a larger filter. I thought I had a larger filter. I have the large heater now. Whoops, my bad. Don't mind me. I was just trying to improve things and instead made a little bit of a mess of things. All right. Anyway, where are we at? We're currently working on deep tanks to unlock deep tank walls which will be very exciting. We need to get enough science for that first. Uh, and then I'm gonna make one of these tanks because here's a shallow tank back here and here's a deep tank back here. And the deep tanks are where you can put the coral, which I think would be fan-freaking-tastic. I would love to be able to add a lot of coral in. Um, and then we're also going to go ahead and check on all of the mail. I have missed... <gasps> The knuckle hermit crabs were eaten by the moray eel! Oh no! And now the moray eel has gotten bigger, and so I think it can actually eat my hermit crabs now. It's a good thing I hadn't given them a name yet. Okay. Jeez, I didn't know that they could, they could, it may eat crustaceans small size one to three! I need to move our crustaceans out! This is not good. Okay, what about these guys? Will you guys eat something? Number of ecology points. Okay, we need to make this tank a little nicer. Whew, oh my gosh, there's a lot going on over here. All right, I'm gonna get another basic pump put down. I'm gonna connect it to this thing. Yay, we have the panther grouper. Let's get that dotty back research done. Uh, and then I'm gonna come over here and get a protein skimmer put down. And we're gonna connect. Come here, you. Oh, it can't reach. It can't reach the spot I wanted it to. All right, let's try moving this. Can you reach over here now? It can't reach it. 
Can you only I know you can do multiple pumps. Here, can I can I grow over here? Cuz that would be kind of cool. And then eventually, no, I can't grow over there. Fooey. All right, what if I have a little can I grow nope. What if I have like a little hallway right here? And then let's do a hallway here, but then put a wall right here. Nice. Okay. And unfortunately, I cannot get the pump to connect. Is it because it needs to be in a different location? Heck! This always goes from like zero to chaos <laughs> extremely quickly, I feel. Um, what if I put you here? I can only put it on this one for some reason. Is it because the protein skimmer is used for corals? Okay, let's try it with a different filter then. What if I brought in this power filter? And then what if I came over and said, connect to here? No, okay. What if I move you again? Come on, basic pump. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. All right, what if I rotate like this? Huh, we did it. All right, now I think we should finally, oh no. Oh no, now I have blocked myself in again. Here, maybe I can make a new hallway expansion once more. And I can find a way to make this work. You gotta get creative sometimes, friends. Alright, come here, pump. I'm gonna put you in your pairing right there. You're gonna come over here to help out. And now everybody should be able to reach things. Yay, we have the deep wall! I need that large filter. You have just unlocked deep tanks. Deep tanks require platforms at the back for your staff to access them for feeding. Build platforms with the platform tool found in the top left. Got it. Platforms require stairs to connect them to the ground. Build stairs with the stairs tool. All right, got it. Let's actually go the opposite direction where I'm making the big giant mess. <laughs> and let's add ourselves a little bit of room to breathe over here. I think this would be great. And then once we figure out the size of the tanks, I'll be able to close off what is going to be our like employee only area. So we need to build a deep wool tank, make a platform, connect the stairs, add any animal, have sufficient heating and water quality. All right, so let's have a deep tank observer area so that people can see it from like multiple sides. Uh, and let's actually have two of them, I think. No, I didn't want that there. But actually, yeah, maybe I did want that there. <gasps> How cool is this? I like this, I like this. We'll put two big deep tanks back there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and have like a platform here and here. Nice, I haven't even had a chance. Please tell me it's not autopsy reports. <gasps> the cowfish and the lionfish have grown up and the hermit crabs are being eaten alive. Oh wait, the longhorn cowfish could not grow because there's not enough space. <gasps> Oh, okay, we're gonna have to move that cowfish. Don't worry, little guy, I have hope. All right, so there's the deep tank, and then we need a deep tank wall, which I guess would be like this. And all of you, please scoot out of the way. Thank you, thank you. Uh, where are my doors? There we go, there's a staff door. Nice! So now we've we've defended that. Build a deep tank wall. Deep wall tank. Great. And actually the observer. Ah, oh, that makes so much sense because actually the observer tank is not going to help me whatsoever if I have things over there. Oh man. <laughs> this is getting more complicated, but I love it. It's fun more complicated. It is a puzzle of science and ecology. We have just unlocked the oblique lined dotty back. The oblique lined dotty back has a care requirement you haven't seen before. They dislike con congeners, which means they can't stand being around other members of their genus or family. For the oblique lined dotty back, this means they cannot be kept with any gammas and theas or dotty backs, including other oblique lined dotty backs. Well, they're a little bit of a loner, aren't they? Here, to celebrate the fact that we have a observation tank that I totally didn't notice, we're going to expand in this area. And then we're going to remove this entire tank because I feel like a silly, silly goose. And we're gonna put down a wall tank. Sir, you need to move. You're about to end up in the wall tank. 
Dang it, sir. Why isn't there an undo? Why is there never an undo when I need one? All right, we'll take. All right, so I'm gonna come in and we're gonna go ahead and put down this wall tank. There we go. I'm also gonna remove this wall. Now that I have realized that it's actually supposed to be like, there we go. You guys, I'm gonna throw Jose, like Rob, y'all are gonna get thrown into the actual tanks at this point. All right, staff door back here, please. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and this is not a deep wall tank. This is just a normal wall tank. <gasps> oh my word. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, for the last time. Let's try this again. Everybody get out of my way. <laughs> Woo, we did it. All right, I think that may be enough for now before I absolutely lose it. <laughs> but I'm really excited about the fact that we actually started with corals. Wow, look at them. I didn't realize that they actually go bloop, 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 but they are going bloop, bloop, bloop. Man, I really can't wait to see what other kind of animals we end up stumbling on because this is just so much freaking fun. But alright guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our bloop bloop blooping corals. And if you would like to go ahead and join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye